I've written out a list of rules and regulations for us to follow, said Mr. Rusty. I'm fed up with people rushing around and coming and going as they please. Hi, said Florence. He's right, you know, said Zebedee. It's mayhem. And I've painted a warning sign. Ah, wise man, said Zebedee. If we all did that, the world would be a better place. Yes, it's time we had a proper highway code, said Dougal. You never know who you might bump into round here. Yeah, like some days I can't even hear myself thinking, said Dylan. I think we should have restricted parking zones and laybys and pedestrian precincts, said Ermintrude. Yes, it gets very crowded up there sometimes in that tree. I mean, yesterday I was stuck there for three hours just trying to get a branch to sing on. Oh, I know. I've always said we should have traffic lights up there. I've always wanted to be a traffic warden, not so much because of the uniform, but because I like meeting people and winding them up. I don't think we'd have any problems at all if everybody was like me, environmentally sound, punctual, reliable. Oops. Ah, yes, now, that wasn't meant to happen. Right. Ooh. Comfy girls, off we go. There should definitely be cycle lanes and everyone should wear more visible clothing, said Mr. McHenry. And the speed limit. Don't forget the speed limit, said Brian. Right, said Zebedee. When moving across the garden, the following procedures should be observed. I'm all ears, said Brian. Look to the left and the right, check thoroughly in all directions that you're not obstructing a stationary object, then after ensuring that you're in an upright position, proceed with caution. Or on a bicycle, said Mr. McHenry, not quite understanding. Are we all agreed, said Zebedee? They were. The following hazard warnings should be observed at all times. Penelope? Warning, web ahead, said Penelope. Oh, uh, right, uh, wow, said Dylan. Dylan, are you with us, said Florence. And she put his sign up for him. I think that means no noise area, said Florence, on Dylan's behalf. And what about you, Ermintrude? Keep on the grass, said Ermintrude. And Dougal? <laughs> Beware of low-flying cows, said Dougal. Well, I don't find that amusing at all, actually, said Ermintrude, and I don't think I'm going to play anymore. And she left. Oh, come on, Ermintrude, said Florence. This is only going to work if we all agree to abide by the rules. Pedal power, said Mr. McHenry, irrelevantly. Oh, not bad, said the train. Well, what have you got? asked Florence. Let the train take the strain, said the train. Oh, yes, that's good. No singing between the hours of 8.30 and 1.30 and 3 o'clock and 7.30 on weekends and on weekdays, 8 o'clock to 11.30, unless you're displaying the appropriate permit. That shouldn't be too difficult to remember, said Florence. What was it again? This is really going to improve our quality of life, said Dougal. My turn, said Brian. There's something missing, said Dougal. Flowers, said Mr. Rusty. Flowers, said Florence. Flowers, said Dougal. Yes, flowers, said Mr. Rusty. Flowers, said Brian. Just flowers, said Zebedee. What kind of a warning sign is that? I think we're getting rather cluttered up with all these signs, actually, said Mr. Rusty. I wish I'd never started all this. Couldn't we just turn it into an art gallery and call this one Flowers by Mr. Rusty? <laughs>